show you how to make a plunge pool and how to keep it clean for under 300 bucks. This is a galvanized metal stock tank purchased from a farm supply store for $150. They come in a variety of sizes. Stop. Do not use a submersible pond pump. You could get electrocuted. A much safer alternative would be to buy a pump with a filter in it that's made for above ground pools. This just got a lot more complicated. I've got to drill a hole in the tank because the water pump has to suck in water below the water line. Ugh. Before I drill a hole in the tank for the water pump, I'm going to have to let out some water. Well, thank goodness there's a drain plug right here, which will make things a lot easier. Okay, I went to the hardware store and I bought the sink drain and a special drill bit to drill a hole through the tank so that I can insert this in and then insert into here. Here I go. Dang it, it won't fit. Ah. No problem. I went back to the hardware store and bought a metal file for about $9 and simply made the hole bigger. When I was filing the hole, I got some metal shards in the plunge pool, so I got the shop vacuum out to suck them up. This is actually a really great way to clean the pool, so I'm not too annoyed. Now that the drain pipe finally fits, I can seal it with plumber's putty, tighten the screw in the back, and hook up the hose to the water pump. Sure to read all the uh, instructions in your pump manual to make sure you hook it up right. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. Plug it in. If the water is too cold at first, the sun will warm it up in just a few hours. want the outlet pipe hanging over the edge of the pool so I made a third trip to the hardware store and I bought a fitting that allows me to hook it up into another hole and clamp it. The pump also has a filter in it and the manufacturer recommended checking it every two weeks and either cleaning it or replacing it. I got this skimmer for six bucks at the hardware store. It's a great way to clean off bugs and other debris. At the same hardware store, I bought these pool test strips. Use these to figure out the chlorine, bromine, alkalinity, and pH balance of your pool. Using the website poolcalculator.com, and YouTube videos showing the BBB method of using bleach, borax, and baking soda. I'm going to try to keep this pool clear and clean. I made this using a galvanized steel roof panel. You can find these at places like Lowe's or Home Depot. I attached two wood studs to make it easier to remove. I was going to tell you how to make a plunge pool for $300. Well, guess what? It only costs $259. Cheers.